There's an amazing capacity in each of us to rise to the occasion when challenged, to go above and beyond what we think is possible. It enables us to push boundaries and reach the highest levels of accomplishment, to live a life extraordinary. I think most of us are used to staying within our comfort zones. In this film are individuals who've achieved wonderful accomplishments in very diverse areas. And in each of these individuals, there is a spirit, which is simply the capacity to throw yourself into something. I've identified four attributes that enable them to push boundaries and uh, rise to the forefront of their fields. The first trait that I've identified is courage. Anything that is innovative, that breaks boundaries, that goes above and beyond the norm, takes guts. Music is more passionate than I am, so I have to open myself up. If I don't, then I can't do it. Chinese-born conductor Shen Zhang is a rising star of the classical world. Music is bigger than my own life. If I pick up the baton, I feel this great respect to the profession. Shen's courage is striking in that she's going against all the cultural norms. She's a Chinese woman in a <laughs> role that has been quintessentially white males for hundreds of years. The next challenge is with La Scala, and it's my first appearance. I feel stressed and pressured about it. I know it's an important step that I must take in my career, but on a human level, emotional level, it's... it's <laughs> I don't think Shen is a naturally over-the-top excitement seeker at all. It takes courage to stand up when you have a thousand eyes behind you on the podium. It's not because it's your natural bent at all, uh, but because it's something that matters to you. The second trait is vision. I'm now in New York City to receive a award for our conservation work. Going above and beyond is something that's so important for every leader. You have to vision the next uh, 10, 20, 30 years. Samburo tribesman Tom Lalampa is internationally recognized for risking his life to settle tribal disputes for the sake of the environment. I would like to inspire them, I would like to encourage them to aspire to be future conservationists. Tom's vision is complex. It relates to his passions for conservation and for human rights, and it involves each of them being interrelated. You can't have conservation without improvement of human relations. We don't lose hope. It's about securing the future of our people and the planet. Tom's vision is not just with the local. His is an integrated vision of the human good. That's vision that is very, very expansive. I'm looking forward to seeing a movement, a grassroots movement that's going to transform conservation. And if I can spearhead that process, I'd love to. Openness to experience is a kind of irrepressibility and an ability to take domains that are usually separate, maybe even conflicting, and put them together. Where I am at is um, the intersection of fashion design, of engineering, of science. And so what I do is like interweave all these disciplines and take from every discipline in order to explore new possibilities. The extraordinary creations of celebrated Dutch designer Anouk Wipprecht raise questions about human interaction and are forging a new path in design. I have a smoke dress. As soon as you approach the dress, it starts to smoke. 
but as a question about personal space. I have a background in, in fashion design, but I was ser searching for an added value. So I got into robotics because I really liked uh, robots. Basically, I create interactive garments and uh, designs that do just a little bit more than being pretty. Openness to experience is also an openness to failure. And what struck me was her playful appreciation of the openness of the creative project. That are happening in the body. I think failure is such a big part of the learning process that you need to go through in order to do the things correctly. Failure is all around, but it's not a negative thing. I embrace it. Really follow whatever your heart is giving you in rather than whatever your society is telling you to do. And the final trait is dedication. Есть в России такая пословица. Количество всегда переходит в качество. If you take a look at each of our exemplars, they have put in that work and they're anticipating pushing boundaries far into the future. Above and beyond. Значит, сделать всё возможное, чтобы добиться успеха. Russian diver Viktor Minibayev is a double European gold medalist, but he has his sights set on Olympic glory. I suspect Viktor's dedication to diving is so intrinsic to his character that he has that built-in sense of commitment. Когда уже встал на край, я прокручиваю прыжок в голове. He has an incredible intensity to block out everything. That's dedication. Я исполняю этот прыжок на высшую оценку. Делаю его безукоризненно. It is very difficult to reach the level of achievement that these individuals have achieved uh, without there being some base level of ability. Uh, but there is a spirit to rise uh, above and beyond the commonplace. And instead of sitting back and saying, I wonder if I can do it, or I wonder if it's appropriate for me to do it, you thrust yourself forward. And it's the capacity to use that passion that leads to awesome accomplishment.